Right, morning guys. Just a quick update on what I see on the Bitcoin or on the crypto charts. So that was um, my previous video. I was quite lucky to actually catch that big drop. Um, it did go down slightly lower. Um, but yeah, this time around I didn't get hurt. <laughs> I was just watching the drop and uh, obviously my um, underlying asset is Bitcoin so I did lose quite a bit of value in the drop and I didn't I wasn't ready for the short um, so that was quite agonizing um, I've got a normal daytime job so I was occupied when the signs were there um, and then there was another sign at about uh, probably at about five o'clock on Friday afternoon so that's really a difficult time you now after a, a week's work and um, that was sort of a <laughs> time to relax for me uh, although I was at home and um, I had the computer close by but I didn't zoom in to see um, yeah I'm not going to go into too much detail there but um, uh, for my skills uh, there was a possible trade and that's why it's quite agonizing but now um, we got to look for the new trade um, like I said can't no cry by no time for cry babies so this is the zoomed out view of Bitcoin it's uh, quite a big um, zoom out I think from November yeah November last year so I suppose if you go and look for lines then you'll find lines but this is quite a perfect um, a line touching the lows um, not that I I didn't have this on my chart beforehand but now this um, will become quite an important level or um, a resistance line for future reference so this is on the logarithmic scale so if I take it off onto the normal scale then we still see those perfect touches there we see it's been respected definitely there it's been it broken through and then it became resistance and then when it went through again it became support again but now we have a bit of a problem here so it's not lining up 100% there but the uh, the logarithmic scale is normally used um, for much higher um, time zones or um, time frames so we, let's just leave that there for the moment um, just something to have a look at so there's been a quite a good channel that forming down here I also didn't have this channel on my chart from the beginning but obviously there's been a lot of accumulation there and when there was a drop or when we had that loss of that yearly point of control yeah, and there, when that actually happened, I was in a meeting, so <laughs> and I, I, I just didn't zoom in and, and have a look at that. So I was basically occupied. But anyway, that's that. These little white boxes that I have here are single prints. That's where the price moved really fast. So that's that's like um, low resistance areas. So if we get up there, normally we get a quick reaction, but if it goes through, then it moves through those areas really fast. So this one is quite big. Um, so yeah, yesterday I took the whole day just to, I started with a clean chart, completely clean, because we're in a completely different um, zone now, or region for, a price region for Bitcoin. Um, there's the dip, I, while I was busy with my analysis, I s um, this happened, uh, we had a pullback into the CC, or this, uh, uh, how can I say, golden pocket. Um, with that Fibonacci so I didn't see that trade that was a good trade to move up there and then uh, once we reclaimed this the VWAP um, that that showed to me that we on the local time frame uh, um, daily I would say we're uh, Bitcoin looks strong and is bullish so um, then I took a little trade I just want to show you on a lower time frame here yeah, last night I when I once I saw that retest of the of the view because sometimes Bitcoin goes through and it just breaks down uh, back through the through the VWAP again like you see there just there's no reclaim definitely reclaim so it's, it doesn't look that that good but when we had this it still wasn't um, a very strong reclaim but I I saw that and I decided to to enter there. Um, nearly stopped me out there and then I took my first take profit was uh, it looks really small but <laughs> I mean the moves are so big so it was quite a decent take profit uh, it was like at f I'm on 5x leverage so that was like at four and a half percent so now my next target is that the bottom of that because there will definitely be reaction at the bottom of that as a single print box so this morning it still looks quite strong because we're uh, 
at two o'clock in the morning then the view up reset so we were obviously underneath and then the market tries to sort itself out and now um, you can clearly see we're above the view up but the important thing this morning is um, we've reclaimed the previous day value area high so that's uh, 15 minutes so that's a decent reclaim so I think that looks bullish and we've um, we sort of above those closes those candle closes there so I think that's a good um, entry and then I also had an entry on Ethereum so let's just look zoomed out look sorry that's my dog <laughs> um, rolling on the carpet yeah we can see Ethereum reacted well off this Fibonacci and then yesterday the drop uh, on Friday evening Saturday morning actually this was a, the big drop and it dropped perfectly onto that daily so that daily uh, is a r s gave quite good support and then also the Fibonacci pulled from the low there to the high there like a re uh, you know, that zone anyway so it came back nicely and then something that I saw on Ethereum I just want to go back to the Ethereum I've lately I've been first having a look at Ethereum's performance against Bitcoin before I would go into a trade and um, there's some really interesting levels here so um, Ethereum this is from May I mean two years 2018 uh, that is January 20. That's that's like th the past three years. You can see how low Ethereum came down. I think this was the run, the bull run, yeah, in 15th of May this year. Um, that run up there. Normally the altcoins strengthen against Bitcoin, and now this weekly has become um, a really, really this yellow line, an important level. So we've broken the weekly, but I've just placed that key level on that peak, on that top that we had there. So this is on a daily chart, so we're really strong from yesterday. We came back and retested that previous weekly. Um, that was more a localized, well, local, that's this year's um, most important level. Back to two years ago's most important level, and uh, or three years ago. Now, I just want to break, if we break that, um, the week that we formed on that, that weekly time frame, then I think we're going to really see a run from Ethereum. So based on that, so that is Ethereum against Bitcoin. So back to my Ethereum chart. Um, I'm just going to zoom in here uh, to the first to the one hour. See that was the week down into that the daily and to the um, golden pocket, and yeah, it reclaimed. Well, actually, there it reclaimed the VWAP, but it retested it there, and then I saw. Now this is really looking strong. Um, I also saw that that week um, on this Friday evening. I just marked that as a level. That's quite an important level. Uh, come back here. Let me just try and look for that trade. So uh, I saw this weekly, yeah, this weekly level, and I thought that was really an important and a strong level. And then when I saw it go through on the 15 minute, and it actually retested that weekly, and the fact that we've retested the VWAP and, and um, bounced off it really strong, I thought I just wanted the weekly to be claimed, and that was a good trade. So I got into that trade and the first take profit also looks really close but it was that m level that I marked there and if I'm on 5x then that is 6.5% so that is a that was a really good first take profit and then zooming out a bit I will just mention later why my <laughs> trade block stops there so look where we are today and it's really p outperforming, uh, outperforming um, Bitcoin at the moment so we are really on that trade would have been at 34% already. So when I what happened is I realized a little bit later on when we already had our first take profit, I, I, my eye just caught the, um, my um, profit and loss, and I saw that I'm in a few cents, and I um, I chose the wrong account, a really small account to trade, and I just um, took 75% of my account size, and then I. Yeah, well, I closed the trade later on. It was too late to enter again. So on pa on paper, and I'm mentioning this, it is a bit humili humiliating, but I'm mentioning this because my strategy was correct. It doesn't matter that I made a mistake with my um, um, trade size. So normally, if you're practicing, you do paper trades anyway. So I'm logging this as a as a winning trade. Um, I'm just really gutted um, about the mistake. I'm not going to let that influence me. Um, I'm on to looking for the next trade. I'm obviously not going to jump in here now. I'm going to wait for at least the reclaim of that weekly because there was some reaction there. But uh, maybe, yeah, that is really quite sad. Um, 
yeah, I'll do some analysis here and, and look for, for new trades. So that's it, update. Um, yeah, I wanted to show one more thing here on the Bitcoin. I'm just going to um, hide this trade here. So what's quite important, uh, levels. Um, now I'm using exo charts. So I'll just go into there. Ooh, that looks quite weird. Uh, just to show you, I'm getting some levels here, like the previous day value area high and daily open and all those things on the exo charts. You c and without a paid um, version, I'm not sure if you're going to get those levels, but the way to find that, look at this previous day value area high. We were really struggling here. Um, well, first we went into it there. That was the daily open actually. So we had a bit of fight rejection. And this morning we were really struggling to get over there. But that's a really important level. And look now, we've, it looks like we've reclaimed that daily uh, value area high, previous day value area high. And it looks like my trade is becoming quite good there. I'm going to go into a clean chart and just show you how to get that just off your free version of the trading view. We're going to go down to the one hour time frame. So the market officially, the day officially opens and closes at two o'clock our time, South African time. So you go on the one hour and then you go to two o'clock this morning, two o'clock, you that's your starting point and then you go back to two o'clock yesterday morning, that's it there. And then you pull that fixed range, that's that little tool there. And when it comes on it says fixed range volume profile. So if you zoom in there, it's not as accurate as because this uses um, um, uh, time and the uh, extra charge uses volume. So it's not as accurate, but it's it's still good. You see it's slightly higher that the top of that um, highlighted area is there, um, which makes sense. So some people obviously also uses this as trading. You see how that wick touched that uh, value area high, and now we're also struggling there. Although on the exo charts that value area high is a little bit lower there. Um, there's the point of control and there's the value area low. Perfect. Look how that week just bounced off of there. So this is a manual way of getting those values every morning before you start your trading and that gives you good levels for for day trading. So look there's yesterday's value area low, so that's the low for today and that's the high for today. Once we break through there through there, we can look for new um, key levels. Alright, it's now become a bit too long, more than or longer than I planned, but I hope you have a lovely rest of the weekend and happy trading.